An instanton is a notion appearing in theoretical and mathematical physics. An instanton is a classical solution to equations of motion with a finite, non-zero action, either in quantum mechanics or in quantum field theory. More precisely, it is a solution to the equations of motion of the classical field theory on a Euclidean spacetime. In such quantum theories, solutions to the equations of motion may be thought of as critical points of the action. The critical points of the action may be local maxima of the action, local minima, or saddle points. For example the classical path is the path that minimizes the action and is therefore a global minimum. Instantons are important in quantum field theory because they appear in the path integral as the leading quantum corrections to the classical behavior of a system, and they can be used to study the tunneling behavior in various systems such as a Yang-Mills theory. Mathematics Mathematically, a Yang-Mills instanton is a self-dual or anti-self-dual connection in a principal bundle over a four-dimensional Riemannian manifold that plays the role of physical space-time in non-abelian gauge theory. Instantons are topologically non-trivial solutions of Yang-Mills equations that absolutely minimize the energy functional within their topological type. The first such solutions were discovered in the case of four-dimensional Euclidean space compactified to the four-dimensional sphere, and turned out to be localized in space-time, prompting the names pseudoparticle and instanton. Yang-Mills instantons have been explicitly constructed in many cases by means of twist-or theory which relates them to algebraic vector bundles on algebraic surfaces, and via the ADHM construction, or hypercalor reduction, a sophisticated linear algebra procedure. The groundbreaking work of Simon Donaldson, for which he was later awarded the Fields Medal, used the moduli space of instantons over a given four-dimensional differentiable manifold as a new invariant of the manifold that depends on its differentiable structure and applied it to the construction of homeomorphic but not diffeomorphic form manifolds. Many methods developed in studying instantons have also been applied to monopoles. This is because magnetic monopoles arise as solutions of a dimensional reduction of the Yang-Mills equations, c, for instance. The introduction to Hitchens' paper self-duality equations on Riemann surface quantum mechanics. An instanton can be used to calculate the transition probability for a quantum mechanical particle tunneling through a potential barrier. One of the simplest examples of a system with an instanton effect is a particle in a double well potential. In contrast to a classical particle, there is non-vanishing probability that it crosses a region of potential energy higher than its own energy. Example 1 way to calculate this probability is by means of the semi-classical WKB approximation, which requires the value of to be small. The Schrödinger equation for the particle reads if the potential were constant, the solution would be a plane wave. With this means that if the energy of the particle is smaller than the potential energy, one obtains an exponentially decreasing function. The associated tunneling amplitude is proportional to where R and B are the beginning and end point of the tunneling trajectory. Alternative Alternatively, the use of path integrals allows an instanton interpretation and the same result can be obtained with this approach. In path integral formulation, the transition amplitude can be expressed as following the process of Wick rotation to Euclidean space-time Minkowskian path integral, as can be seen from this example. Calculating the transition probability for the particle to tunnel through a classically forbidden region in the Euclidean path integral. This classical solution of the Euclidean equations of motion is often named kink solution, and is an example of an instanton. In this example, the two vacua of the double well potential turn into hills in the Euclidianized version of the problem. Thus, 
the instant and field solution of the dimensional field theory first quantized quantum mechanical description allows to be interpreted as a tunneling effect between the two vacua of the physical Minkowskian system. Note that a naive perturbation theory around one of those two vacua would never show this non-perturbative tunneling effect dramatically changing the picture of the vacuum structure of this quantum mechanical system. Therefore, the perturbative approach may not completely describe the vacuum structure of a physical system. This may have important consequences, for example, in the theory of axions where the non-trivial QCD vacuum effects spoil the Peckier-Quinn symmetry explicitly and transform massless Nambu-Goldstone bosons into massive pseudo-Nambu-Goldstone ones. Quantum field theory in studying quantum field theory, the vacuum structure of a theory may draw attention to instantons. Just as a double-well quantum mechanical system illustrates, a naive vacuum may not be the true vacuum of a field theory. Moreover, the true vacuum of a field theory may be an overlap of several topologically inequivalent sectors, so-called topological vacua. A well-understood and illustrative example of an instanton and its interpretation can be found in the context of a QFT with a non-obelian gauge group, a Yang-Mills theory. For a Yang-Mills theory these inequivalent sectors can be classified by the third homotopy group of SU. A certain topological vacuum is labeled by an unaltered transform, the Pontryagin index, as the third homotopy group of has been found to be the set of integers, there are infinitely many topologically inequivalent vacua, denoted by, where is their corresponding Pontryagin index. An instanton is a field configuration fulfilling the classical equations of motion in Euclidean spacetime, which is interpreted as a tunneling effect between these different topological vacua. It is again labeled by an integer number, its Pontryagin index. One can imagine an instanton with index to quantify tunneling between topological vacua and if Q equals 1, the configuration is named BPST and Stanton after its discoverers Alexander Belavine, Alexander Polyakov, Albert S. Schwartz and U. S. Tychkin. The true vacuum of the theory is labeled by an angle theta and is an overlap of the topological sectors. Gerard T. who first performed the field theoretic computation of the effects of the BPST and Stanton in a theory coupled to fermions in. He showed that zero modes of the Dirac equation in the instanton background lead to a non-perturbative multifermion interaction in the low energy, effective action. Yang-Mills theory if the inner product on the Lie algebra of in which takes values is given by the killing form on, then this may be denoted as since for example, in the case of the gauge group U, F will be the electromagnetic field tensor. From the principle of stationary action, the Yang-Mills equations follow. There the first of these is an identity, because dF equals d2A equals 0. But the second is a second-order partial differential equation for the connection A, and if the Minkowski current vector does not vanish, the 0 on the RHS of the second equation is replaced by, but notice how similar these equations are, they differ by a Hodge star, thus a solution to the simpler first order equation is automatically also a solution of the Yang-Mills equation. Such solutions usually exist, although their precise character depends on the dimension and topology of the base space M, the principal bundle P, and the gauge group G. In non-abelian Yang-Mills theories, and where D is the exterior covariant derivative, furthermore, the Bianchi identity is satisfied. In quantum field theory, an instanton is a topologically non-trivial field configuration in four-dimensional Euclidean space. Specifically, it refers to a Yang-Mills gauge field A which approaches pure gauge at spatial infinity. This means the field strength vanishes at infinity. The name instanton derives from the fact that these fields are localized in space and time, in other words, at a specific instant. 
The case of instantons on the two-dimensional space may be easier to visualize because it admits the simplest case of the gauge group, namely U, that is an abelian group. In this case the field A can be visualized as simply a vector field. An instanton is a configuration where, for example, the arrows point away from a central point. In Euclidean four dimensions, abelian instantons are impossible. The field configuration of an instanton is very different from that of the vacuum. Because of this instantons cannot be studied by using Feynman diagrams, which only include perturbative effects. Instantons are fundamentally non-perturbative. The Yang-Mills energy is given by where is the Hodge dual. If we insist that the solutions to the Yang-Mills equations have finite energy, then the curvature of the solution at infinity has to be zero. This means that the Chern-Simons invariant can be defined at the three-space boundary. This is equivalent, via Stokes' theorem, to taking the integral this is a homotopy invariant and it tells us which homotopy class the instantin belongs to. Since the integral of a non-negative integrand is always non-negative, for all real theta, so, this means if this bound is saturated, then the solution is a BPS state. For such states, either f equals f or f equals minus f depending on the sign of the homotopy invariant. Instanton effects are important in understanding the formation of condensates in the vacuum of quantum chromodynamics and in explaining the massive, the so-called eta prime particle, a Goldstone boson which has acquired mass through the axial current anomaly of QCD. Note that there is sometimes also a corresponding soliton in a theory with one additional space dimension. Recent research on instantons links them to topics such as de Branus and black holes and, of course, the vacuum structure of QCD, for example, in oriented string theories. A DP Branner is a gauge theory instanton in the world volume dimensional U gauge theory on a stack of N D Branus. Various numbers of dimensions, instantons play a central role in the non-perturbative dynamics of gauge theories. The kind of physical excitation that yields an instanton depends on the number of dimensions of the spacetime, but, surprisingly, the formalism for dealing with these instantons is relatively dimension independent. If the gauge symmetry is a unitary group or special unitary group then this characteristic class is the second Chern class, which vanishes in the case of the gauge group U. If the gauge symmetry is an orthogonal group then this class is the first Pontjagen class. In three-dimensional gauge theories with Higgs fields, T. Hooft Polyakov monopoles play the role of instantons. In his 1977 paper Quark Confinement and Topology of Gauge Groups, Alexander Polyakov demonstrated that instanton effects in three-dimensional QED coupled to a scalar field lead to a mass for the photon. In two-dimensional abelian gauge theories world sheet instantons are magnetic vortices. They are responsible for many non-perturbative effects in string theory, playing a central role in mirror symmetry. In one-dimensional quantum mechanics, instantons describe tunneling, which is invisible in perturbation theory. 4D supersymmetric gauge theories Supersymmetric gauge theories often obey non-renormalization theorems, which restrict the kinds of quantum corrections which are allowed. Many of these theorems only apply to corrections calculable in perturbation theory and so instantons, which are not seen in perturbation theory, provide the only corrections to these quantities. Field theoretic techniques for instanton calculations in supersymmetric theories were extensively studied in the 1980s by multiple authors, because supersymmetry guarantees the cancellation of fermionic versus bosonic non-zero modes in the instanton background. The involved t hooft computation of the instanton saddle point reduces to an integration over zero modes. In n equals 1 supersymmetric gauge theories instantons can modify the superpotential, sometimes lifting all of the vacua. In 1984, Ian Daffleck, 
Michael Dine and Nathan Seiberg calculated the Instanton corrections to the superpotential in the paper dynamical supersymmetry breaking in supersymmetric QCD. More precisely, they were only able to perform the calculation when the theory contains one less flavor of chiral matter than the number of colors in the special unitary gauge group because in the presence of fewer flavors an unbroken non-abelian gauge symmetry leads to an infrared divergence and in the case of more flavors the contribution is equal to zero. For this special choice of chiral matter, the vacuum expectation values of the matter scalar fields can be chosen to completely break the gauge symmetry at weak coupling, allowing a reliable semi-classical saddle point calculation to proceed. By then considering perturbations by various mass terms they were able to calculate the superpotential in the presence of arbitrary numbers of colors and flavors, valid even when the theory is no longer weakly coupled. In N equals 2 supersymmetric gauge theories the superpotential receives no quantum corrections. However, the correction to the metric of the moduli space of vacua from Unstantons was calculated in a series of papers. First, the one in Stanton correction was calculated by Nathan Seiberg in supersymmetry and non-perturbative beta functions. The full set of corrections for Su Yang Mills theory was calculated by Nathan Seiberg and Edward Witten in electric magnetic duality, monopole condensation, and confinement in N equals 2 supersymmetric Yang Mills theory. In the process creating a subject that is today known as cyberg witten theory, they extended their calculation to sugage theories with fundamental matter in monopoles, duality and chiral symmetry breaking in N equals 2 supersymmetric QCD. These results were later extended for various gauge groups in matter contents, and the direct gauge theory derivation was also obtained in most cases. For gauge theories with gauge group U the cyberg witten geometry has been derived from gauge theory using Nekrasov partition functions in 2003 by Nikita Nekrasov and Andrei Okunkov and independently by Hiroku Nakajima and Kota Yoshioka. In N equals 4 supersymmetric gauge theories the instantons do not lead to quantum corrections for the metric on the moduli space of vacua.